So uh, this is Josh Adams, and Corey Haynes is on with me. Hello. And we're going to play around with parsers in Elm, I suppose. Yeah. Um, so that's nice. So uh, here is what I've got. So I, I played around before this a little bit with some stuff. So I have some tests here to sort of show. I can run the test suite, and it all passes. So here are the things that I know so far about Elm Comma, and I've played with it for a grand okay. total of uh, 50 minutes now. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, so I've pulled in some stuff from Combine. Uh, for some reason, I have Combine.num in twice. Uh, so like, if I want to parse an integer, I can call like Combine.parse on Combine.num.int okay. and a string 1, 2, 3, and it'll return a two-tuple, which is the result, which, mm -hmm. since it was successful, isn't okay. And since it parses, you know, uh, integer returns integers, it'll be a result of integer. So one, two, three. And then this is what's called the context. Mm -hmm. And so it has an input and a position. So the string originally looked like this. So we had, mm -hmm. uh, you can use app to sort of apply a parser without parsing a string directly. Mm -hmm. So if you hand it a context, so right now basically parse turns this into a context. So that basically says, oh, cool, you gave me a string, I'll make one of these. And then mm, okay. app app will apply a parser to a context. So here we have the context one two three. We applied int. It will consume all the numbers that or all the integers it sees. And so it saw one two three, and we have like nothing left in the input, and we consumed three things. And input there is what's left after. So it parses yes. from the left. Yeah, it parses from the left to the right, consuming stuff by default. Yeah, great. And so we can kind of play with this to make sure our understanding. I'm just gonna say like two. And so if we said like one, two, three, fox, we would expect this to be identical, except for we would have fox remaining. Mm -hmm. And that appears to be how it works. Excellent. Um, okay, so that's how you can parse things and sort of the general data structure stuff. Uh, what's, your, uh, what's your keystroke to run the current file? Uh, comma dot or comma period. Comma period, okay. Yeah, and actually it runs the whole test, everything. It just runs. Oh, it Elm. runs the whole test. Suite. Yeah, it just runs Elm test. Oh, okay. Okay, great. Um, now there's only one test file, so same yeah. thing. It's mapping the result yes. of parsing integers. So you're mapping. Oh, okay. You're mapping. Okay. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. And that's a like a, a parse map. Parse pick Josh. Um, yeah, sorry, you don't see pick Josh yeah. yet. Pick Josh is a parser that uh, results in a list of strings and so this uses sequence and mm -hmm. it's just a sequence of parsers that are run one after the other and you get the if it was successful you get the list of the results mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so that works and then we can also do something like this so i didn't want a parser of list string i wanted a parser of string so we just do the sequence and then we map it oh okay so this is your monadic mappy thing yeah yep yeah. So one could you could say that it, it feels a lot like a decoder, like a JSON decoder. Yeah. Like if you think about it, of like we're yeah, and so putting it all together, and then you call parse. Yeah, and so you end up with uh, oh sorry, you end up with very JSON decodery things. So like mm -hmm. AnMap, right? So yeah, uh, that is a way to sequence two parsers. I have not yet gotten to AnMap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. Also, they have these infix things, so I haven't gotten to the infix either. Okay. Yeah. So, oh, we should we didn't sort of say the goal is to oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, parse these game of life uh, text. Do they show them here? I wonder. Um, probably not. Uh, game of life uh, strings. I don't know. Um, Rosetta Code actually okay. is a place that has a bunch of them. Okay. I think. Great. Yeah. Yep, yeah. There we go. So, Game of Life is a cellular automaton. And it turns out that we can have, uh, oh, this isn't, this isn't actually, that's accurate, just the sorry. definition of it. Uh, somewhere, oh, these are just a bunch of things. Where did I find, I had, <laughs> a whole website that had a uh, game of life patterns. I don't know. Yeah, that might be it. Um, Conway Life. 
yeah, this this has a bunch of them. So this somewhere uh, life wiki. Yeah, that'll have the neat. Uh, there we go. There's the patterns down here. <clears throat> awesome. Yeah. So like we could see a glider. The glider is the best. <laughs> uh, actually, just straight up there. So that is the glider pattern. Uh, somewhere there should be. Surely the string version of it exists on this page. If not, I've got. Oh, hold on a second. Um, Caddo Gold. That's a silly name. Um, oh no, this also isn't it. It would have been. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Boom. No, not exactly. No. I don't think. No. Um, I have all of them, like, on my computer somewhere. So hold on. Okay. I don't. I don't ever use like this. But somewhere, golly, boom. And that's not. So uh, that's not useful at all. But if I go like, open pattern, maybe it remembers where I did that last. It doesn't. Why would it? <laughs> of course. Uh, so somewhere. Uh, let's see here. And also, I hate 100% how the Mac. Uh, call system works. <laughs> but is some, it on your desktop? That's where mine would be. That's a really good question. Um, let's just look here. And if it were, it would be like here-ish. Yeah. And it's not. So somewhere, it would have been downloads. Download, download Did you next. use it when you built your... Uh... I didn't put it in there, no. That would have been... Uh, this is fantastic. This is pretty good. <laughs> Um, that's where I downloaded Golly. That's useful. That's nice. And do you um happen to remember what one of the names is? Of course is? not. Uh, I'm just gonna click into. I like pedestrian life. Oh my goodness! Will uh, rule string? So like rule string. What is rule string? A there we go. S slash B, which is known as its rule. S for survival. List of all them. Um, no, that's not. That's... Oh. oh, I see. It was a little niche. Wait a minute. No, these are just alternate rules. No, okay. So for straight up, definitely from the home page of Life Wiki is where I found this crap. Three thousand downloadable pattern files. <laughs> um, oh, download pattern collection. Hey, look, that's where There's I found a it. Button. Let's do that. All, all, all okay. All yes, I was zip. not going to find all that zip and think this is it. Okay, so let's just look. Oh, at it. it is in downloads. Yep, of course it is. That's what, okay. So all one, boom. Great. Okay, so there this is what one of these things looks like. Let's find the glider, uh, glider, and we will just open this up with um, other GVM. Um, no. MacVim, sorry. Okay. This, this is what they look like. Interesting. Okay. <clears throat> and. So it says what? I, I, you know, I found a place that described this. And oh, I wonder, actually, hold on a second. Normally, what I do is I write everything down. Not this time. Because I was in a car. Um, fantastic. So. So it's rule. Okay. So this is somehow a. So it's. Um, of course, it's a speed. So I would. It's probably started at X3, Y3. Um, what if you bring up Golly and we look in the help? That's reasonable. There is a help. Um, maybe like pa uh, pattern references. I don't know. Okay, that's that's good. That's fantastic. My guess is I have none of the help. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. I do not. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, um, let's. How about we do a quick Google search for um, game of life pattern. Uh, parsing game of life patterns. Somewhere, someone will describe what this freaking thing means. Will. 
<sighs> RLE patterns. That's what they're called. Okay, so RLE, okay, cellular automata files format. Look, a giant purple link. Nice. R RLE. RLE is what we want because that's what we have. Run link okay. encoded format. Okay, first off, I'm going to put this. You're going to read me somewhere. So I'm going to put this just down here. I don't care about any of this crap at all. There. That's all I want in that reading. Excellent. I'm done with that. Okay. So, M and N are the dimensions of the pattern, so it's actually a three by three. Oh, okay. Okay. So, RLE writers should reduce spacing shown. Readers are best not to assume spacing. Okay, I don't know. Okay, the pattern. Yeah. Is, hey, I'm going to pull this up side by side with the description. Mm -hmm. The pattern itself begins on the next line. Okay, so we say it is a three by three. Uh -huh. It doesn't describe what rule equals yet is yet. Don't guess I care. And so we have a dead cell, a live cell, a dead cell, the end of a line. Oh, that's end of line. And of then course. two dead cells and a live cell. End of line. Oh, it and is. Three oh, of course. Live cells. And that's run length encoded. Yes. Of course. Okay. So okay. let's do this, shall we? <laughs> yeah. And let's try to test because tests are good. Yes. So let's good. just just add on to this. Why not? Of course, okay. we start off with this is how combine works at all, and we move on to decoding a glider that is run length encoded. Uh, okay. So uh, the first most basic thing we could maybe want would be like a, I'm just gonna say like glider RLE. Uh, Data. I don't know. That's pretty dumb. But whatever. I think probably just call it glider RLE. Um. Yeah. So. Okay. There's that. Oops. And then I kind of wanted to say like, okay, so glider RLE decoded whatever uh -huh. is um a list of yeah. What the hell? What what do we want? A list have? of it's a list of lines. Lines. A list of. S well, so I was thinking that a line is a list mm -hmm. of cells. And mm -hmm. <clears throat> so if a pattern, if if the patterns are rectangular, so if it's if it's like, we know that it, it's not as though the pattern definition says this is line one has four, line two <clears throat> has three, so. We know it's rectangular, so we could have um, it just be a list of cells. Yeah, we could. Um, um, I mean, we could do by line if we want, because we know that we have so let um, me the markers. Here's my entire motivation. Mm -hmm. I can start off and say, like, okay, we'll pretend that a line is a string. And then I can say, like, okay, well, then this should be a list of Bob, Tubo, three O. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and then I mm -hmm. can make a line something more or more complex. So I think yeah. you're, I think you're right. Sounds good. Um, but that sounds good because we can yeah. parse it up to the dollar sign. Three O, and we just ignore the exclamation point at the end or whatever. Yeah. We say that's done. Okay, so we would okay. then want to say expect equal. I'm gonna say parse RLE, glider RLE mm -hmm. to be equal to OK. Glider RLE decoded. Input equals nothing. Position equals I don't know. Oh, um, I don't know. What is it? One, two, eleven. We'll say eleven. Actually, it doesn't even matter. Like whatever we say, we can just fix it later. Yeah, I think it's okay. So if we run the test, uh, it turns out I have no idea what RLE is. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so RLE is a parser for a list of lines. Yeah. RLE would be just a sequence, maybe? Uh, probably not. No. Um, well, well, we kind of want to say it's string up to um, let me also dollar sign. It. It's a type, alias, line. Yeah, string. string. Oh, sorry. So do we have what are what are let's look at the what parsers we do have available to us. Okay, so this is just combine at the high level. Mm -hmm. You have like string 
And so that's not useful because we don't know what the string should be. Um, Isn't that this? Here's the parsers. Fail succeed. We have string. We have regex. We can use regex. Oh, we have a while. So we oh. can consume input until we get to either a dollar sign or a, um, what you want to call it, or a exclamation point. Yeah. So then, how do we, how do we loop it? Uh, actually, let's. Why don't we get? Why don't we get kind of dumb? Uh, what if we just kind of. Uh, let's do one because we're gonna have to. Basically, this is when I think we're gonna end up with an and then. Okay. Okay, so we'll just do the while. So we'll say while. We say like not equal to dollar sign or uh, not equal to dollar sign. Yeah. Is it a char or string? It's a char. While not equal to dollar sign, and then whatever it is. Uh, this is not going to produce a list of lines yet. Let's let's change that to a. A while is a parser for string, which is actually fine. That is, a, yep. yeah. So, okay, so this is a parser for string for now. Yeah, let's so we can call that. it line just for kicks. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so and instead yeah, because what we'll what we'll probably want to do is have a parser for a line, and then we'll want to do that until we run out of them, rather than have a parser for yeah. And so for now, this would then be Bob. And the input would be the remainder for like Bob dollar oh sorry like dollar two B O dollar three O bang yeah and the position would be four three four uh, I think not because here it consumed three three, four. three. Uh, actually yeah. I don't I don't know what it does on the while actually I don't know it actually I would say four it probably consumes that right do you think. No, actually, no. I bet it doesn't. We but already, we already even, find out. Let's run. We already <laughs> even assumed that it didn't because yeah. we have a dollar there. Anyway, so yeah, let's run it. Yeah, and it has no idea what yeah. while is, which is fine. Okay, run it, and cool. That's what. That's how that works. Okay, so that's step one. Mm -hmm. So, um, so we want to now. So while is a parser. So what we could do is we could do something like yeah, let me uh, go to town. I could do something like, um, oops, um, and I want one that's like eat. <laughs> so eat that dollar sign. Yeah, and that thing is, um, I saw it. Skip, skip. Uh, so, so just skip. skip a, yeah, yeah. So skip char. So it should be like skip char dollar. Yeah. And we good. actually need to bring in combine dot char. Mm. Need to bring in skip. Nice. And no. Uh, no. <laughs> parser. The first and second. Oh, the oh first we have a list of things that that aren't valid. Um, so skip will skip, which makes sense. Okay, so we can't have a list of them. Um, oh, oh, because sequence is no longer a parser of line. It's yeah, a parse. Oh. I mean, these just have different types. Oh. Skip, skip has type uh, unit. Mm -hmm. um, so we could do like, maybe we could do and then. I don't actually know. Mm, I bet we can. Um, apply a parser skip its result many times. Let's just keep looking real quick. Parse one or more occurrences of P separated by OP. Oh. I, I assume that like I assume that this is P and this is OP. I actually have no idea what P and OP are. Let's two look at the of P. We're gonna look real quick. At, operator. We're gonna look real quick at whatever that actual okay. source is because he's clearly referencing. Uh, so that was combine. And we have skip mini. Yeah, skip mini P. Uh -huh. um, sorry, chain L is where we were. Yeah. So we have chain L P and OP. So that's basically we would say uh, parse one or more uh, separated by 
So that P sounds is awful like what we want. Yeah, like OP is a dollar sign. But this parser right here, goodness, I don't know what that is. Um, Recursively apply all functions returned by OP. So the values returned by P. Examples. Yeah, let's let's be let's like go um, before we use fancy ones. Let's um, let's just use a let's let's build it ourselves. So what we want to do is we want to parse a. So what and then is going to do is it's going to take the val the result pass it to the next parser, I bet. Look at step in by real quick. Parsing A comma, A comma, A comma. Getting a list of A, A, A. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we could try that. We could try. When well, there's set by, which mm -hmm. is actually what we want because we don't want set, yeah. set in by assumes you have the same thing on the end. And we don't. Oh, we have a dollar as our separator. So we want mm -hmm. set by. Mm -hmm. Uh, we can just, just set by okay. Let's let's yeah, try, let's, let's, try try, let's try set by, and it's just a string dollar sign. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing we want is just like a string. Um, it's not string, just a string. Is that? Mm, you need to have a. Um... Mini char? No. Well, no, that returns just a list of it. Um, so how do you just parse a string? String. string. But it takes sort of the string. Oh, right? parsing. Um, string match. Succeed. Um, oh, we can. Uh, let's, mm, no, that, no. No. What was it? It's a list. No. So I wonder if we want to. Um... Uh, what if we just do a regex with like any digits bureau? Oh, that, that would work. That would work. Let's just do regex, and then I have not actually done regexes. Uh, it's a D. I want to say like D bureau. Sorry, in the problem is is that. Oh uh, yeah, I guess you could just you could use a. Okay. Uh, what does that give us? Oh, nothing that is valid. Uh, set by a spell drawing. It has a the B as a capital. Yeah, that's not the only problem. Because <laughs> uh, let me just try to. What does this say? You have to unexpected D expecting space. Oh, so like that's not. Uh, th okay, so let me just do. Just bear with me. <laughs> Sounds good. And then we don't have set by regex. I'm okay with that. These are errors I know how to fix. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so <laughs> we say it's a parser for line. It's actually a parser for a list of string, which is totally nice. fine because that's actually what we want. Yeah. It's a parser for a list of line. Mm -hmm. And now it's just wrong, which is fine. So we say uh, this really should be a list of Bob. Two bo, oops, oops. Two bo, and then three o, three o. Bang. Uh, bang. Uh, actually, it's not going to match bang because it's not in the regex, and we'll rem we will oh, let one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this will be ten. We'll be left with that. Ha! Ha! Nice. Okay. Um, okay. And then what if we just consume that one so that we end up with an input? Um, I don't actually know how to do that at all. Maybe we don't care. Um, can we just can we do a put a sequence there? Um, oh yeah, yeah. I, I see what you're saying. Um, so we no, have this we, one. We um, can't because this one's a parser for list line, and that would be just a parser for string. Yeah, 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 yeah. So maybe what we, maybe need we just to don't do, care. Um, how about this? Um, If we said so that will take 
Was it consume? What was that? What did we? It's, it's what, up here. Uh, skip. 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 And so we'll just say like skip. Uh, bang. Yeah. And it takes a char. Yeah. So that, um, and then actually takes. It takes a function. Mm. Um, takes function, which is the. So it takes a function and it gets the result, and then can do something with that result, which is not actually what we mm -hmm. want to do. Mm -hmm. No, um, no. Uh, let's. What if we just ignore it for now? Okay. Okay, so we have a thing that works, mm -hmm. and straight up we can just take this and turn it into some data structure that looks an awful lot like a bitmap. Mm -hmm. So we could just kind of do. Um, so do we want, what do you say about, yeah, uh, not from our early, yeah. Uh, uh, or whatever, I'm not sure. Uh, bitmap from list line, I don't know. Takes a list of line and produces a bitmap where, um, sorry. Do you want we'll to un -R a list write, a, cool. write a quick function to take a single RLE string and un RLE it? Take a smaller bite out of this. Yes, thank you. Because for sure. Okay, so we want to say like uh, we're calling these. Well, so these are still like uh, strings that we got, and yeah. we want to say like okay, so let's just say like um, I don't know two bitmap takes us a line to a bitmap where bitmap is a list of bool. Does that work? So then to bitmap could just mm, be I see what you're doing. This could just be like the 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 line and we would want to turn it into a list of uh we just split. So we could we do like string dot split the line um and then map that to Well the problem no, is so yeah, let's take a smaller step. So Right. Let's let's here. Let's write it. Yeah, you. Quick. Yes, you you drive because. Uh, <laughs> let's do this. Also, I meant to mention that I have now been awake for thirty nine and a half hours. Oh, great! Great. <laughs> um, un or um, parsing an RLE string. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to take over the mouse. Oh, that's okay. Um, so expect equal. Um, let's do un RLE. I want to un RLE. Um, well, depending on how we want to do this, let's do one like this and say that I want it to be Bob. So that's going to un RLE, takes a string, gives us another string. I see what you're doing. Um, And let's just do that so we can run. And then let's get our next one. Um, parsing an RLS string with an encoding. So at this right. point, if we said 2BO, then we should get BBO. And at that point, we're not passing. Um, So here's where we, um, I, I, I almost want to <laughs> use a parser to parse this, just since we're parsing things back all over the place. Yeah, I, th I think so. Um, and so if we, so what's one, so what we can, so if I'm thinking about a parser, I can I have one parser which is are you, are you going um, to parse to a union type of sort of like a sort of stack commands or something? Or well, maybe? I thought I would. Um, mm, yeah, I guess we'd have to. So what what if you had a type like this? What if you had like type? Um, I don't know. We'll call it something stupid. Uh, stack command, uh, and it were repeat. Int 
or dead or alive. So mm -hmm. then if you had something that was like repeat three, dead, alive, that would be like dead, 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 alive. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that, I can see how to go from here to that, and I can see how to go from that string to this. Uh, I don't know. Um, I almost want to say. So if we if we went from this, how would we go from this to this? Oh, uh, yeah. So basically, I would say okay. So like we're we're handling it, and so we say like, um, we consume. Oh, so let's let's say we end up with like uh this thing, and we had like repeat three dead alive. So like we consumed the first bit of it. Uh huh. Then when we can, so this is like our context or whatever. And mm -hmm. so, um, if the context, if the first part of the context is dead or alive, like you don't do anything, you just kind of add, mm -hmm. um, actually let, let's do this. So let's, let's imagine we have some context. We have context. When we start off, we have like, uh, nothing actually. Okay. Uh, maybe, maybe this, I think, I think I like this. Okay, uh -huh. we start out our context, we have nothing, and then we have like repeat three, dead alive, and then we have like some result. Uh, uh -huh. And then the first, so we, we consume one thing, so now we have just repeat three, and then we have like dead alive, and then because it was a repeat, we didn't add anything to the result. And so mm -hmm. then we have, uh, when we consume the next one, I think we end up having actually nothing again, and we just have alive, and then we add dead 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 yeah and then yeah. when we consume alive we just because we had nothing we just and it wasn't a repeat we just add it the next time yeah uh, okay so uh I'll buy that so what i don't know like let's say test uh tur uh, i don't know like uh so let's do the one for bob okay okay yeah so, so it's going to be. Um, so why don't why don't we do this because this is going to be an RLE. This is going to be like um, a two stack command. Sure. Yeah. Okay. And that would be, and B is alive or dead. I don't even remember. B is alive. I think. Sure. So that would be what we expect that to equal if we say like, uh, I guess. Uh, sure. And then, that like, good. two stack command takes string into a list of stack command. Sorry, that means that this needs to be that. Mm -hmm. And I will go ahead and make this, like, not return uh, anything reasonable. Oh, sorry, a list of maybe. No, no, a list of. Uh, no, a list of sorry. stack command. Uh, it's still a list because then we have to yeah, we yeah, yeah. get to the maybe. You're, you're right. Thank the, you. Uh... Thank you. Okay, so two stack commands. I have like str, and then for now this is just like okay whatever. And what is going on? Oh, there's right. a bunch of stuff. What? <laughs> no, this is totally fine. Compiler. Okay, so it doesn't okay. work. Okay, so then we can say like um. Case. We could start out with I don't know. Uh, so we do like string. Dot split. Mm -hmm. And then we can like this isn't going to work. So we'll map to like uh to why don't we use a parser yeah so we definitely should i was kind of like working away oh, okay um because i could see splitting i mean i could see how to do it this way yeah but but let's yeah let's just just not okay so we'll use a parser so we'll say like um do you want to drive because uh sleep okay yeah um so yeah how so what oops um uh, uh, yeah, sorry, you're gonna want to hit space a couple times. Sorry about that. Space once actually is enough. Oh, okay. It's it's dumb. Um. Wow. It's always fun in um somebody else's van. You know it's not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. So we'll have to kind of guide through this. We want to par so our parser is going to be I. It's either an int. Or it's a B or an O. Yes. So there's an either, I bet. There's a choose. 
probably takes a string. Oh, actually, uh, list. Let's see what. It, let's uh, write here. Yeah, choose is in there. Choose is in here. Choose. Um, choice. Choice. Is choice. A, yeah. Choose between a list of parsers, whichever one matches. So, um, so oh, parse choice int or choice is either an int or a char. Yes. And then we would just map those to either repeat or dead or alive. Can your parsers be of different types in choice? I don't know. I don't think so. I wouldn't think so. Oh, but that's actually uh, they they can't. But that's fine because we can do a um. Oh, we can do a yeah. map. So really, we can. What we can do is we can parse. Um, just do just do repeat or dead or alive. Uh, well, so choice between repeat or dead or alive, right? And oh, we, oh, and, I see. And then we can define those parsers. Repeat or is it a? Uh, no, it's just a comma. Sorry, it's just a list. Oh, oh I see. Repeat, I see. comma, dead or alive, and then we just define those parsers. Actually, can't we do alive? Uh, yeah, that would work just fine. Pro pro probably better. <laughs> And repeat take is a parser of a uh, stack command. Command. Um, and it does what? Is it a? Uh, it's just a, so it would just be int uh, map. So um, just do int and then like pipe in a map. Yeah. Uh, and then you would just map to like repeat. Oh, I see so you, what you're doing. But, yeah, and um, I think you want a forward apply rather than, uh, but I'm not sure actually. Mm, I wonder. Wait, does int take something? Uh, no. Oh, okay. So we do. Um, and so this is then. Uh, dead. And this is literally just string B. And then, uh, and then you just do and then, um, and like a function that doesn't care about the, I uh, just, you can do always, uh, always dead. Mm, yeah. Um, actually, we could, yeah, we're all, we need always dead. Okay. And this is going to be alive. It's just oh, and then always alive. Oh, <laughs> I have um, leader f mapped to um, Elm format. Or I just have when you save it formats. Oh, <laughs> and so my. Fingers basically after every line hit leader F. <laughs> My fingers already after every line hit uh, colon W, which is why when I haven't oh, the function, uh -huh. it freaks the crap out. Yeah, let me do this real quick. Uh, oops, whoa. What'd you do? Control C? I don't know. I have you know what? I might have hit. I might have hit Control C. I have Control C mapped to like close things. Uh, I think. Oh, okay. I think it works though. No, it doesn't because it doesn't know about and then. Just fine. And then choice it doesn't know about. And then always alive. Expects a parser A. Oh, we want succeed always succeed alive, I think. Let me look, mm. let me look at succeed. Succeed always alive. Um succeed always alive? Yeah. I betcha. Um well, so and then takes the function. Uh, I think we don't always succeed. 
I think that's what we want. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm definitely going to want. We still have to return the parser, yeah. All right, can I find variable succeed? Succeed. It says it's a list of stack commands. But what? Oh, that's because we get con we get uh, we parsed. Do we oh. actually call parse back? Oh, oh, hold on. We don't want to parse there. That's all. So we just want choice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes a lot of that makes sense. Um, and that actually means we can just do this. Yeah. Uh, or, we don't even need. Yeah, actually, hold on a second. We can just get rid of that. Yeah. Um. Oh. Up. We can't. It needs a. We need to repeat. No, so okay. it's so the problem was um, that we have to keep doing this. Yeah, we have to keep doing this. So we could say um, repeat. Hold on. Two stack commands returns a parser, first off. Like, that's what we want anyway. Uh, we want to parse. To, what? Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Um, so this is going to be a one of these is a parse. Yeah, so this is two stack command is actually what we've done here. Uh, it is a parser. Parser for stack command, and we should yeah. singlify this one, uh, not make it plural. Mm, I see what you're saying, yeah. How did you not understand the word singlify? <laughs> um, and then two stack commands would just do a some repeat of that. What, why don't we stop and just make that test a test for a single stack command? That sounds about right. So we want to parse two stack command B. So B back. is going to give us, did we decide that was alive? Yes, and it'll actually give us the context. It'll be OK, alive, inputs, empty oh. string, position one. It's funny, I have command, or I have control C mapped um, to basically escape. I have uh, position one, uh, and the input will be oh. an empty string. Yeah, so Do I have, you? Oh, yeah, there we go. And then we don't need that list. It's wrapping all this. Um, do you have uh, like a, some people have like comma comma or something to go into normal mode from insert mode? No, I've never, I've never done that. Do you I, always hit escape? So I used to have caps lock mapped, uh, but honestly, my pinky goes to escape anyway because of the okay. use. So. Okay. Uh, um, there was a period where I did JJ, and then there was some computer via SSH that it didn't work on, and instead of oh. like, I just stopped trying. Yeah, I, I can uh, believe that. Let's do um, parsing. Um, parse stack command B. That first step command for O, and it appears that you do not have. And this is for um, int. Int. So this is for repeat. Let's come up here and say this is for. What did we say O was? Dead. A lot dead. And this is going to be alive. Dead. Oops. Dead. And this is going to be repeat three. Um, Just say repeat three. Repeat three. And then put it in parens. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oops. So this is going to be Just um, a three. three. And then that's just a no. I know. OK. I'm a believer. Um, Comma dot. And two stack command, singular. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah. Singlified. Singlified. Okay, uh, where is that? I did not save it. OK, okay. now it's upset. Oh, we didn't parse. Put a parse before two oh. stack command on each of them. Good call. 
which actually tells me that that should really be called stack command. But anyway, it, nah, I don't know. That'd be confusing mm. too. Uh, wait, wait what's, what did it say? First argument is supposed to be a parser of A. Oh, we said it was, okay, just fix the type for two stack oh. command. It's just uh, get rid of the str. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay, All right. We just, we just got them backwards, I think. Two failed, and they were dead and alive. That makes sense. Forty. Awesome. Oh, sweet. So now we can actually just parse uh, two stack commands, Bob. So like the plural. Yeah. Oops. Two. So let's do parse stack commands. Um, no repeat. It's going to be two stack commands for BO. BO. It's just OK. And then it's a list of dead alive. Dead alive. And the position is two. And the input is a blank stream. Okay. I feel good about this. This is this is the level of uh, uh, stuff that I can do on thirty nine hours of sleep. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> okay, so now we just need to know how to do like a list of repeating parsers. Yeah. So this is still a parser of. A list, this is going to be a parser of a list of stack list of stack command, right? Yeah, and you need to add a s to the function name. Ah, yeah. Pl okay. Pluralify. Pluralify this one. I, I'll, I'll get that. Um, Equal. So, what I think this is just going to be is just repeat to stack command. Repeat is not a function, but you're giving it an argument. What is repeat? It, re it knows repeat something. Yeah. <laughs> what is repeat? Repeat. Um, well, let's see what. Not sequence. Not sequence. Almost sequence. Um, hold on. What was while? That's just that's just parse. While was the one that takes a, a predicate. Many. Many. Parse. Oh, that's awesome. At least many till? Nope, until parser end succeeds. It's many till. Well, uh, if we This don't... is parse at least one result. I think many, I think many is fine. Things. You think? Yeah, because I, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the parsing the blank string is fine. It returns a list of uh, no stack commands. Mm -hmm. So this will um, parse until it fails. This one until end. Apply parser p zero oh. or more times until parser end succeeds. And so, what would parser end? Oh wait, that's a. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So if right. you look mini. at yeah, yeah, mini string yeah, a mini. succeeded anyway. I think yeah. that yeah, I think the documentation. Would be, and then you just need to add it to the um, exposing. Ah yeah. Ha ha ha! Oh my god. That. Okay, so now we have a fun thing to do. We just uh, sort of have our. Uh, we just want to fold. I want to get. I want to make sure that just for giggles. Oh yeah, we need a repeat. Dead alive, alive. Oh right. right. Uh, position three. Oops. Oh, there's I a ripple. I don't even know how to run that. <laughs> uh, you want position three at the end? Ah. Do -do -do squeaks. Oh, nice. it's pistachio. Mm. Okay. It's getting close to dinner time for the girls. Okay, so great. So if we want, let's get rid of this. So now we don't even need to test a parser next. We just test literally consuming the list of stack commands and producing yeah. a list of, or producing a bitmap, I think. Okay, test. Or producing a line. I think that's actually what a line is, right? It's a list of dead live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah. really a list of true false. L list of bool would be a line, basically. 
a list of bool would be a line, yeah. So it's um, part or converting a list of stack commands into a line um, with no repeats. So this can we can do something simple equal. So if I say um, to, you're gonna say to bitmap uh, dead dead alive. Just produces dead dead alive. It just produces uh, false. Oh, false thank you. Screw. Yeah. Okay. To bitmap takes a list of stack commands and it returns us a list of bool. Literally list.map. Yeah. Um, you know what we could do is we can actually just go. That's correct. Oops. Oh, yeah, the capital M. Oh. Come on. Really? There we go. Cool. OK, so now we want with repeats. This is going to be dead repeat to alive. Repeat two. And foster two. All right. So I have I have what was my your thought on this. Yeah, so here's here's my thought. Basically. Okay. So I basically want to do this. I want to say, like, uh, actually, I have it down here. Somewhere. Now we delete it. Oh, no, we did. No, I don't. I don't delete things. <laughs> okay. Nice. So yeah. So we want to basically say, like, so first off, I want to be able to say, um, I'm going to say this is not where we are yet for me. I'm going to say, test converting a list of stack commands into a stack context. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to say. Expect that equal to stack context dead. Actually, this is fine. Um, and I'm going to say this would be like nothing dead at. Okay. Um, and, but, yeah, you're missing a. Right, so there we go. Yeah. And so then I'm just going to say, okay, so two stack context takes a list of stack commands and produces a stack context. And uh, it just literally is just nothing stack commands, empty list, or stack context. Goodness. <laughs> and this is like a maybe stack command, a list stack command. And then this is a list of stack command, but it'll never have a repeat. Um, <laughs> and I'm okay with that. And so, okay, so this is, does that test pass? I should have ran it before I wrote that, but whatever. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, and so I want to say, okay, so then test um, consuming a single round of stack context, um, no repeat. I don't know, I just think of this as a state machine of sorts. Okay. And okay, so uh, I'm gonna say consume stack context. And this I'm fine saying, uh, now let's be explicit. So nothing dead that is my stack context. And it's going to produce nothing, it ate a thing, and now it's dead. Over oh, there. I see what you're doing. Yeah, and ultimately we just, we just uh, fold L, yeah. do this, consume stack context. 
takes a stack context to a stack context. Mm -hmm. Assume stack context stack context <laughs> is and so we say like um actually I want to say um yeah so what is this this is like modifier sure and then remaining accumulated mm -hmm. I want to say case oh you looked up a cool sign yeah I do that all the time and then uh yeah, bad things so if there's no modifier then we literally just return nothing um we want to go ahead and pop the uh, sorry um so i'll say actually i want to say case list dot head of remaining of if there's nothing remaining then we literally just return modifier whatever and we didn't change anything mm -hmm. uh if there's uh a stack context sorry I'll say actually if it's just repeat x, then we will say um okay. If it's just repeat x, then we want to say, okay, well now it's nothing. And we want um sorry, I want uh I'm sorry, that's not what I want. Let me kill everything. Okay, case remaining. Okay, so like if there was like a head and a rest. Yeah, that's yeah. that's what I'm thinking. Uh, if there was not a head and a rest, then it would be the empty list, right? I think. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So um, unless there's yeah, 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 because rest will be the empty list in the case of one. Yeah. So if there was a head and the rest, then we want to say okay. Then we just add things together. Okay, so. If there was not a head and a rest, then we just return modifier. It just doesn't actually do anything. Yeah. Goodness. Okay. So. In there that we want to um, add. Uh, so now I want to do the case. Well, okay. So actually, well, let's, let's just let's, let's do the let's actually. do the shortest thing first. Yeah. Nothing rest, and then we want to say uh, head plus or act list dot no. Um, we can just attach it. Yeah, or, or, do we put it at the end? Uh, yeah. I mean, that's what I'm doing. No. 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 It's at the beginning. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. So, like, that should pass that test almost, except for what is weird self-referential self -referential type for act. Um, why is that? <laughs> what the? Okay, so this was a list of stack contexts, and we just plop uh -huh. them on the front. Um, head into list. I don't know, like, what's this? Does this change anything? Let me do this. Wait, let's let me read the error again, real quick. Uh, weird self for self oh, I see. Okay. For remaining. Uh, yeah, it's saying I don't, don't so really know what these are. Why is it? Oh, um. No, I literally don't understand this bit. Uh, As to why? Yeah, why? I don't know. I'm just going to keep doing stuff till <sighs> it's okay. Okay, so it's fine with that. So for some reason, case remaining of... Oh, if, well, if it was nothing, that's fine. Oh. Uh, I think that's kind of what its ultimate beef was. And then this... Yeah, and add. then it, what it should be is that... Um, Oh. Line seventy five right here. Yep. This is Act, thank you. Oops. Um my yep. uh there we go. Okay, and so now it says it doesn't actually it's... Mm, I'm inferring it, it's a list of list of A. Um why is that saying that's a list of lists? I couldn't tell you. Again. I'm inferring that the definition has this type. Oh, of taking that the middle is a list of list of A. What? Is this is this the way you you destructure it? You know, I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm wondering if it is. 
You can always do list list that head and list that drop one or something. I, I just yeah, don't. but I know you can destructure that way. Oh yeah, that's that's totally what it is. Thank you. There we go. No, nope, no, nope, nope, so same, same problem. Um. Oh, oh, I didn't save it. Okay. Let's see you. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Whoops. There the daisies. Go. Um. Awesome. So now we want to do one with repeats. So just that same thing, and then we just yeah. have to teach consume stack context how to deal with the modifier. Yeah. This is. Oops. So this is if we just, have just a repeat just two. repeat two, then, then we end up with nothing and dead dead. Dead. And then you can run Oops. the test. Uh, how does that test? Okay, I was about to say. <laughs> we, have, we have magic. Okay, cool. So now you just need to do a case of the modifier inside that headrest. Yeah. Nothing is going to be that. Yep. And if it's um, just if it is a just a repeat in, then we um, take nothing. We do rest, and we do repeat. Yeah, list dot repeat. And head. I don't remember the order of our, uh, and then, yeah. I believe it is this way because the guidelines say put the data structure at yep. the end. Yep. Um, yep. And I head, just read head. it recently because I was like, oh man, that makes all of my. Uh, now, if it's just if work. it's just anything else, just debug that crash because we shouldn't be putting anything but repeats in there. Say that again? It doesn't know well, about. Well, if it's anything else, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just anything else like debug or crash. Um, so just underscore. Oh yeah, that'll work too. Debug dot crash. Wow. Oh, it's a. Um. Oh, it's okay. Debug dot crash. What? What? Yeah, you got to indent that sucker. It doesn't know. You got a what? Indent. Two more. There you go. Oh. Okay, cool. Repeats work. Okay. Uh, now, so that handles a line. And so that's literally it. Just like consuming a string is splitting into lines and then turning them into stack contexts or, you know, arleying. Yeah, yeah. So let's uh, see if uh, we uh, can change yeah. the two bitmap to do that. So you don't need to change it anymore, though, because it'll never have a repeat. Oh, you're saying to, to do the other bit first? I got you. Yeah, yeah. Let's get that other one passing. First. Yeah, so two two stack context and then and then just pipe that uh to two um whatever you had before. I mean, what was it called? Uh oh con consume stack. Oh we have to like uh list dot fold L. Oh okay. List dot fold L. Or no, we, we want to push it to the context. Yes, and then we want to fold L. Um, oh no, we can't do that because the context has the middle bit. Um, let's see, so let's take our... You can just recurse. Um, so we want to take... Um, so let's get to stack context. That gets us a stack context, and then we need to consume it uh, until the middle bit is an empty list. Oh, consume until the and then return the last bit. Mm, okay, would be the best way to do that. Um. So I would. Why don't we still do? The, uh, sorry. Why don't we add one more test for consuming, right? So like uh, consume stack. Let's just say consume stack. Takes a stack context into a list of bool. Okay. And then, uh, well, no, sorry, a list of stack commands. 
because ah, okay. Yeah. okay so consume stack gets a stack context and it's going to say um case sorry again we have uh, we want to say like i don't care remaining i don't care actually i do care uh act whatever as can i do that inside of this i think so i think so case remaining of okay if it's empty then i return act if it's anything else then I consume stack context. I consume stack on the stack context. I just recurse until it's done. That's not going to work. Except you're not pulling anything off yet. You don't have a uh, consuming stack. Does uh, sorry, consume stack context. Uh, that's what I want. Uh, consume stack. Consume stack context. Stack context. And then something is. Uh, um, oh, you as, deleted two bitmap. Also, uh, that's not what it, that's not what it's upset about. It's, oh. it's upset about the fact that like I can't actually do this. Oh, okay. Uh, and so I'll just do let in say don't care, and then uh, remaining act stack context. And so there we go. And that'll work. And the tests don't know about two bitmap, which is fair. Um, and what you just get. Two bitmap was um, right now. I'm just going to do this, and okay. we'll fix it back up. Okay, false, false, true. Ex okay, so that's fine. Everything passed except for this, but we now we never added the test. That gummit. <laughs> okay, so consuming an entire stack context. Sure. Um, oh, I see. So I want to say consume stack. These are terrible names, um, and I'll just say like. Start off with nothing. Nothing, and I'll say like dead, dead, and that should be nothing, dead, dead. That should do it. Yeah. And it expects a list of stack command. Um, oh, oh, because, stack oh, sorry, is. because it consumes all stack. Dead, dead. Okay, so we get back the last bit. Okay, and now all that's missing is the bitmap. Mm, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now it's just because uh, two bitmap doesn't remember how to do stuff because I didn't tell it how to do stuff. Yeah. Uh, so we really just want to like say consume stack. Uh, so we want to say uh, two stack context stack commands, and then we want to say like consume stack, and then we want to say like list dot mm, map. Uh, and false false true and now we've actually just flipped it um because we should have uh so here let's do this instead let's go let's re reverse it <laughs> uh, uh so i don't i don't uh, no i don't the only reason i don't love it is because i expect oh uh, let's just do it in in a consume stack let's reverse in consume stack i guess oh okay okay um, i'll buy that Oops, sorry. Did you put um, backslash v? What are you? What? Are, what's that? What? what oh, that? sorry. The the that that's like case insensitive almost. So like oh, if you do like interesting. If I did like stack without any caps, but if mm -hmm. I did slash stack, then it doesn't match the stack. I don't know how much I like it. I, I borrowed it from a buddy and. Uh, oh, interesting. I As like opposed it. to just. Oh, I see. Okay, so I hit. I just hit forward space. Yeah, if you just hit you slash, you have that mapped to. Yeah, you, I basically took that option away from. You. Oops. Okay. Oh no, we're killing each other. Ah, okay. okay, so consume stack. Um, I see. And yeah, I don't know. Like honestly, even though it's slower, I feel so much better when the. <laughs> I don't know when the accumulate, but that's not fair. Okay, so consume stack. We'll just say okay. So like, if I have this, I just want to go like the list dot reverse. Yeah. Yeah. So now our test passes. Okay, nice. so now we can consume the stack and then converting a list of stack commands into a line with repeats. Is that a thing we... Yeah, um, that should just work now. False, true, true. Expect equal false, false, true. Oh, we have the... the so our the, repeats, this is the problem. Our repeats are acting crazy now. Um, uh, uh, are they? Yeah. 
because the head of the list is now actually the tail of what we thought the list was. Oh, okay. Uh, so I'm I'm just going to so say let's like there. Since, yeah, wait, I'm just going to say since like we aren't doing a hand. plus plus head. Okay. And then act plus plus list IP and head. Um, is that sensible? What am I doing? This isn't reasonable. What am I? Hold on a second now. What is the problem? Actually, hold on. So yeah, we're putting the head at the front. Here. I don't actually understand why it's flipped. Yeah. Um. Let's look at the failure again. Let me see. Just yeah. Uh, real so, quick so I can get it in my head. Yeah. Yeah. So the yeah basically we repeated false twice. Well, let's look at the test. Let's make sure the test is right. Yeah. Because I had an okay. So dead and then repeat two and alive. So that's what it should be. So what happens is to I actually let's just on consume stack. Let's just do. That's right. Okay, so we had dead repeat to alive. We ate dead. We had repeat to alive. Oh, I need to show. Um, let me just do this. Uh, actually, I can just do like yeah, right, dot log stack contest. Stack contest. Okay, so we had. So here it is. We had nothing. Nothing dead repeat to alive. We had nothing. Repeat to alive. Dead. No, yeah. So we, we need to be putting them on the tail of the list. We need to be putting them on the tail of the list. How come we moved repeat two over? Uh, because we consumed dead. Yeah, but shouldn't repeat two have turned it put, been put there into the nothing? Oh yeah, for freaking sure. That's what we're getting. Is we're actually this. Oh yeah, that's that's the false. Dead, dead. Uh, you're so right. Hey, look, it's almost like debugging is useful. <laughs> okay, so we consume stack context. We said, look, if it's just repeats, you know, look, oh, if it's just repeat, we need to, we don't need to do this. Uh, um, if the thing that we're grabbing is repeat, we need to have a case on the head too, right? That's the deal. In some, in yeah, some yeah, so yeah, like, yeah. so first off, we can never have two repeats side by side. I'll assume. Um, yeah, we'll just assume that. So basically, we'll say like, if there's not a modifier, then we just need to do like case head of, and if it is mm -hmm. a repeat x, then this becomes just repeat yeah. x uh, rest, and then head. We don't add anything else. Wait, no, 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 no. Uh, sorry. It's it's a uh, yeah rest accumulator. Yeah, yeah. Wait, okay. wait, 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 no. It works now, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's it. Yeah, it yeah, it works. Okay, so 78, we can get rid of the debug.log. It turns out debug.log is awesome. I love and it. also folding through things are awesome. Okay, cool. So we actually can handle the repeats. Uh, so we've done a lot so far, right? We parse all freaking run length encoded string, and we turn it into our data structure, and we turn it into like a stack machine of sorts. Uh -huh. And then we turn it into a list of bitmaps. And so now this is a line. This is a line. And so now we had somewhere, we had the whole sequence, and we're not doing that anymore. Uh, right now we say parse early, glider early, and we just mm -hmm. say, okay, we got this, which I think is like okay, except for uh, maybe this should be like early lines. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Although now we have this like thing where a line is two things. Hold on a second now. So, right, line is a string. So we've been kind of calling this list a bool. Uh, okay, so bitmap. I actually expect a bitmap to be a list of list of bool. I don't know. Actually, it did totally depends. So, That's totally made up. So here's the thing. We have... Um, so we pull it out okay with um, the dollar uh, sign. Oh, sorry. Oops. That's ah, not... Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, we do okay with the dollar sign, right? Um, yeah, and then we just like can turn each of those into. Yeah, so we turn each of those into. Um, we just list dot map to bitmap, uh, not to bitmap, but um, oh, we don't have it. We don't have a thing that does the whole step yet. Yeah, yeah. So we 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 want to take each one of those and turn it into. Um, so basically, we want to uh, take this. Each one, each one of those. We want to parse line. Yeah, and we then, want to parse a line, which is split, and then uh, to bitmap. 
Yeah. Or not to bitmap, but whatever that other. No. Because we've we know how to take. I want parse line, which does a two stack command on it. Um, yeah, two, does a two stack. Well, command. parse line is literally just two stack commands piped through. Uh, whatever the last thing is. To bitmap. Um, I don't know. Pipe, okay, so hold on a second. Consume stack, so consume stack. Uh, to bitmap, yeah, okay, so so to bitmap, so, yeah, yeah, so okay, so to bitmap takes a list of stack commands, okay, and uh, parse, yeah, two stack commands parses it to stack commands. So like, we literally want to say like line to bitmap, whatever line to bitmap. It's a function that takes a line. Here, write a test for this because I want to I want to see you. what this is supposed to be. I'm curious. I'm I'm a little bit. I'm just going to call it that, and we'll figure out if that's a dumb that's name. Great. Okay, so I'm just going to say expect dot equal line to bitmap uh, Bob or sub B two O, and this will be uh, false true true. Sure. And so this would literally just be uh, line to bitmap takes a line into a bitmap. But all I have to do, I don't have to care about. Yeah. I'm literally going to say like uh, two stack commands uh, to bitmap. Oh my goodness, can I type? Uh, two stack commands. Uh, oh, so line to bitmap is expecting to be a parser. Oh, which is fair. So we want to say like parse mm. line to bitmap. We just want to say like parser bitmap and then that's not quite going to work because I don't know how to combine so two stack hold on a second yeah, two stack commands is a parser for a list of stack commands and really this ought to be a parser for bitmap so uh, oh, hold on oh, and then literally just two bitmap no no because we're uh... um, Oh, so succeed. Um, no. Um, so this is this is sort of dumb. One second. There's a better way to do this. I don't know what it is. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. Uh, that's going to be a map. Um, uh, to stack commands and then. So to bitmap consumes the stack though, um, doesn't it? So to bitmap takes a list of stack commands. To stack commands is a parser that returns a list of stack commands. So I don't understand actually what the problem is here. Line to bitmap is a parser for bitmap, so we get a list of stack commands is what x is, and then we just succeed with the to bitmap function on whatever that was, and equal. Oh, this is a parse, and we didn't treat it like a parse. Oh. Uh, so this is, uh, I forget what that thing's called, input. It's a parse. Let's... And then position equals three. So we can parse, um, oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> um, Okay, cool. So we can parse awesome. a line into a bitmap. So all that's left is to parse a file to a list of bitmaps. So I have a name for this thing. Hold on a second. I have uh, gall. So main. Uh, I'm trying to remember what my world is. Uh, world that take model. What's the model? No, oh, it's model. That's just an array of array of bool, whatever. Okay, so. I don't, uh, but we could say so, like parse uh, uh, RLE to world or something, where a world is just a list of list of bitmap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or a list of bitmap rather. I guess we could say like type world is a list of bitmap. We could say like RLE to world is a parser for worlds. And RLE to world is literally just um. We had the thing that 
parsed uh, RLE and gave us back a list of those things. So parse RLE. Oh, we don't want parse RLE. We want A2G. We want RLE. Mm -hmm. And then, um, uh, no, we don't want map. Okay, so RLE. So we want map. Um, Uh, map. Okay, so sorry. RLE gives us a list of string, a list of lines. I just want to map that through line to bitmap. Hmm. Uh, map. You need to. Uh, this is it's a composition. Um. Exp uh, sorry. So type type things. No. Sorry. Really it. Map. It's expecting the argument to be A to B, but it's a parser of a bitmap. Oh well then maybe map as well. Yeah. Uh, just do RLE and then end a line to bitmap. Uh no. You want mini? I'm worried that we have you, uh ah. Yeah, so you want to parse you know, uh parse dot map? No. I don't actually know what I'm doing anymore. Okay. <laughs> um so RLE I know RLE. I could do like this, right? This is not this is where I like I know there's a better thing. So these are like the lines. Oh RLE is a does a parser. return a parser. I'm sorry. Yes. My mistake. I okay. was thinking it was not. Um and then lines and then I really don't understand why we wouldn't be able to say many line to bitmap. That I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Many line to bitmap is expecting the right argument to be that, but it's. Oh, because this is and then, but then that should be that. And it's map is not the right thing. Map's not the right is thing. It, is it and map? Hold on a second. Is it and map? It's and map. Mm -hmm, Jesus. And map. No. Oh, because we haven't yeah. pulled it in. Uh, and map is expecting the left argument to be a parser from A to B. A parser of a function. Okay, well, I don't know what the crap I'm doing anymore. Well, let's do this. The, so here's what's happening is and map. Um, this is whatever. Uh, uh, def. So anmap doesn't take a composition, isn't a composition oh. operator. Oh, so that's what the, there's an infix thing. That's why I never got the infix. Okay. I have a, I have a proposal very, very briefly. Okay. Okay. So they absolutely do compositions of these things here. Dadgummit. Let's like compose. Okay. So let's do it. Transforming parsers. Um, Chaining parsers. That's for and map. We don't want and map. Join two parsers, ignoring the results of the one on the left. We don't want that. Or okay, we don't want any of those. Wait, I thought we wanted and map. Do we want and map? Because well, if it's just a um, if it's just a synonym for and map, then we don't want it, right? So and map. See, this is the problem: is it's a parser that returns a parser for a function, right? This is for sequencing mm. parsers. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, so parser res, and then we get a function that takes a result. And I mean, this is what we want. We just want to end then. But I don't understand why that didn't work. So I did this, and then, like, um, that line to bitmap has to get a thing. Oh my goodness. So what is RLE? Let's look at the type signature for RLE. Right? Function that returns the second parser. Um, oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. So, no. Yeah, 
Yeah, how come it's not just me? And then lets us pick a different parser. That, that lets us like branch. We don't want to branch. Mm -hmm. And map, sequence two parsers. So plus map. What is just map? I mean, why, why don't we just want map? Uh, transform the result of a parser. Oh, right, because we don't just want map. Or want to. So, yeah. Oh, by map. No, not at all. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, unwrap a parser so it can Wait, be. Wait, let's part. go. Uh, go back real quick, and let's let's think this through. Like, what is it that we're so? Let's think about the types as we go through here. So, um, and let's be explicit. So this is RLE string. But it's not right. So, um, because this is a parser. Isn't it? No, we don't. We don't. This is just a this is a data structure. Right? This is this is a parser. Oh, this oh oh this is just the parser. So, but but the thing that it's gonna the thing that it's gonna be parsing, the first thing it parses is. I know how to do it. Um, I, I know how to do okay. it. And like here is the thing that just drives me up the wall. Um. Hold on, what is what is it saying now? Uh, oh no, that's uh, no, it's not. This two bit map is not a parser. God damn it! I'm just. Uh, I feel so dumb. Oh, that's. Uh, How about many line to bit map? No, that takes parsers. That's many parsers. Um. But hold on, we have we have repeated things before, right? Um. What did we do when we repeated? What about sequence. Uh, we did. Oh, we did while sequence. sequence. We need yeah. a. We need to give it a straight up list of parsers. Yeah, but we. Oh, 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 yeah. Sequence is is, yeah, not. Um, because what we want to do is we want to say, uh, run this parser and then run this parser. Like that's the thing that's killing me. That's why it just seems like anything. Yeah. So run a parser. And they want to do something on the result. We don't need a parser anymore, though. Uh, yeah, we do. We straight up do. Okay, so. Yeah. Oh my god, and then we want to parse. No, parse doesn't return a parse anymore. Oh my god, but that's what this is for. Oh my god, I know exactly why this function <laughs> exists. So look, we have this app. Uh, oh. This is literally. So app takes a parser and a context, and this is what we want. Okay, early and then. Okay. And we literally want to say, like, Apply line to bitmap to X. Um, except for line to bitmap, so we just want to like list dot map. Um, uh, so the, hold on a second. So here we go. We have we have lines. Arlie gave us lines. Uh -huh. We want to map uh, the lines. <laughs> and actually, we don't because it's the last thing. Oh my god, list dot map. So we have lines. We want to map them through. App line to bitmap, but and then takes doesn't and then take a parser. Um. Oh wait, no, no, no. I see. I see what you're saying. And so the problem here is and then is expecting the right argument to be a list of string to parser, but the right argument is a list of uh, input and position. Um. Okay, so that's just because that app is not what I want. Hold on a second. Uh. Unwrap a parser. We don't want to unwrap a parser. No. We, we want what is what is what is rec here? That's not what we want. Oh, isn't it? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I don't even understand anything that's saying, but I don't think it is. Okay. So let, let's stick, let me understand what it is that we have. Let's let's talk through before. Um, before we just uh, bang on our we, keyboard like like yeah, animals, yeah, yeah. Let's talk this through for a second. Um, so what's our? So we're gonna run parse on. We're gonna run parse on something. So what we are gonna run parse on is something that looks like this. Yes. So. Um, the RLE is a parser that turns it into this. Yes. 
Um, then we want to we want to list that map across the results. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, um, hold on. Literally, get, get rid of uh, no, because that can't be right. Um, um, so, and then the the this takes a parser of something and a function that takes this to another parser. Yes. And it returns us a parser of rest. Uh, well, so rest should be B in those last two cases. I don't think it has uh, to be. Yeah. B. And the other one. OK. So let's, let's that that is what we want. So let's talk about this. So RLE is a parser of Bob, Bob, dollar, Bob. Bob, dollar, Bob. Um, and then we want something that will. We want, OK, so we literally want, um, it the, seems like we want, yeah, that, that takes the result, which is a list of things. Mm -hmm. And I don't think res is Bob dollar Bob. Res is. No, res is, sorry, res is, is list, list. list Bob. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, OK, so. So we need something that'll take that list and return us a parser. So let's get the lines. And then we need to we need repeat. A, a sequence. We need to list up map sequence line to bitmap. Uh, well, we want to sequence list up map line to bitmap. Uh, no. We, we want no, no. we want a sequence we need, of We're given we're given a list of strings. So we we're, we're given to, a yeah, a list of strings. So here is gonna be a um return a single parser. So we wanna so if we if we map line to bitmap on the uh, but line to bitmap and now make an argument. we need to take this and we need to how do we can we sequence. we have a list of parser we want a parser for all of them sequence you're right cool. but then yeah but I don't know about that whole getting the lines into that list thing. Because the thing is, is that we are, yeah, because lines, we actually want. Well, we can always, so list.map always line to bitmap. Um. See, here's the thing. I don't think it's sequence. I think what we need to do is we need to say, well, so um, Oh wait, no. This will take something that's the result. Yeah. So we want sequence that gives us a parser, or mm -hmm. multiple things. And I think we want to map those lines. Oh, you know what? You know what? What if we said list dot repeat, list dot length, lines. Because we don't actually want to. Here we go. Okay, so we want. Oh, okay, we just want a sequence. Okay, we just yes. Need a sequence of parser. That, that's we need, the right we number. Need the right number of parsers, not okay. actually parsing. So the good news is, I was not headed towards that at all, which is pretty fantastic. Um, so yeah, yeah, so that totally this, makes sense. We just turned it into yeah. a like a thing that accepts the shape, basically. Yep. Yep. Now that. Man. What's our RLE to world test? Is it actually sufficient? I don't know. <laughs> Let's see what RLE to world test is. Uh, did we even test it? Did I don't we think we, no, we one? didn't. I, I don't know that we tested it. So it type checks. Um, All we know is it type checks. So it type checks, which is That's a good still a, a good step. Sign. A good sign. So <laughs> converting a file. Or convert. Uh, convert a uh, file to a world. RLE to a world. Okay. Actually, so yeah. the question is, are you having fun though? Oh, of course. This okay. is fun. I, I always I have fun almost in direct proportion to how dumb I feel. Yeah, yeah. This is 
This is a blast. So, RLE to world. Um, what's it called? RLE to world. Um, of Bob Dollar uh, Bob Bang. Bang. And, and that'll be an OK. Get... Because it's a parser, you'll get the, the OK. Oh, yeah. OK. We're going to have uh, false, true, false. False, true, false. False, true. I'm going to switch this so that it's. Yeah, that's good. Different. Um, and, and then the input. And then the input will be uh, an exclamation point. And position will be seven. Seven. Okay. Whatever. Yes. Like if that's the only way it's wrong, then it'd be easy. Yeah. And then close the close the tuple. Oops. Ah. Good luck. Just tap Q. Okay. So it turns out that it doesn't return anything. But it consumes wow. it. It consumes it. Huh. Well that was that's that was actually unexpected. Um so here's the thing. This I would like to let's let's pull this out and make write a test for this. Like what the, why is like this, this feels like it might be a problem. So basically we would say like we have a list of strings and we want to turn it into a parser for worlds. Um, yeah, so RLE turns it into, a, yeah, RLE does the list of strings. Yes. And so then okay. this is like a parser from a list of strings to a world. Yeah, I'm going to say list of strings to world <laughs> is a parser of world. Yes. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to go list of string to world equals that. But then already this is crazy because that's not a... Uh... Anyway, I'm not, I don't want... Never mind. I'm going to keep quiet and think instead of talking. Mm, this is a function of list of string to parser world, but but that's not. Oh, so parsers are basically always expecting to consume a string, and so we have to turn it into this joined thing. Okay. Um. Test um, parsing. Expect equal. You're missing the. Parse. You're missing the thunk. Where? Uh. Oh, thanks. <sighs> so. Um, you're not going to be able to do parse here, though, because it's not a parser. Well, yes, you are. Sorry, but then it gets but then it gets weird. Oops. String to world of Bob. Bob should be okay. Um, false, true, false, false, true, false. All that wrapped up in another list. All that wrapped up in another list, and then um, input equals that. But you're not parsing anything. Parse takes two arguments. Oh, but that's the thing. Like you can't. Uh... Oh, because it's gonna. Tr Right. Oh, I see. What so you're saying. what we want to do is like list dot map and part. Uh, I really don't know. Oh, let's try this. Let's say, what if we have? I think we want to combine map and mini here. 
because map takes the results. I'm going to do this. I move this to here. And say. That's weird. The, the weird thing is, is parsers parsers aren't for lists. I mean, that's that's where this problem is. Parsers are for strings. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's why, like, okay. So let me. Uh, do you want to keep typing, or do you? No, you go ahead. Okay. So back to where you were. You said okay. So like, RLE. I want to say Bob Dollar Bob. Bang. Results in. Whatever. And so now we want to say like. We want to list that map. Bob, Bob is actually, actually let me do this. We really want to say like list dot map. Uh, oh. Parse line, right? Uh, line to bitmap or whatever. But that doesn't give us a parser back. So we could turn that into a succeed. List dot map line to bitmap. Uh, only that's not quite right. So what we want is a sequence of list.map I think I think what we want is a sequence of list.map line to bitmap bob bob that gives us a sequence of lists of no 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 not at all um I feel like there is a <laughs> there's there is something monadic here or something that is supposed to happen. So like the parser, uh, let's see. This is a thunk into a parser, so that's not useful. Transforming parsers isn't exactly right because we want to turn... We're chaining parsers is what we want. We we are, but then we don't... Um, I, I still think that we're... But we're, uh, we're not, though, because there are no parsers for lists. Right? There aren't parsers for lists. There are parsers for strings. They turn strings mm, into other things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a sequence takes a list of parsers into a single parser. Yeah. So that's what we want. We want sequence of a list of parsers. Mm -hmm. um, and the parsers will be succeed. Okay, hold on a second. Okay. Uh, hold on. If we just straight up parse it here, hold on. If we straight up parse it here, then we get a context. Or we get a result and a context. Mm -hmm. Just That's a thing. Mm -hmm. And there's no way to go back from that to a parser, except there is because we can just sequence always on the results. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I know an awful way to do it. Okay, so let's, let's see here. We have... Imagine, okay, so we start, we do early Bob to Bob. We don't actually get that. Well, uh, if we just straight up did like parse early Bob to Bob, then that gives us the okay Bob to Bob. I don't think we want to do that either. Um, okay, so early Bob to Bob gives us that as sort of the result part. And If we did like a list dot map of the actual parsing of each of them and extracted, okay, so let's just do something dumb. Let's say like parse a line and get the result. All right, so we want like we would have. Uh, okay, let me do so. List of string to world. We don't we don't want that. Let me um. Well, li okay, so list of string to world. Right, this this we want this to be. So list of string to world returns a parser. So we should be able to parse, this is what we want, parse list of string to world, Bob, Bob. Um, except for no, because we don't have a thing we're giving to it. So that I, I don't think list of string to world is actually a thing we want in the world. Hmm. Let me let me make that perhaps dubious claim. Okay, so early to world. So early and then let's just say, okay, we have a uh, do whatever. Okay, so do the thing takes a list of lines and we want it to return a parser for worlds. 
So what we can do is we can, first off, we can list that map. Uh, let me say just something stupid like extract result whatever. gets a, a result uh, of what is this uh, list uh, sorry bitmap uh, result string bitmap and then something that's like a record that has well, these are these are called things. These are called context. Oh goodness, my brain is not. Uh, <laughs> it's like it's like I just don't actually have that uh, the sufficient amount of stacks. Like okay, so we get this, and we get straight up a list of strings. Let's mm -hmm. just okay. So let's just be stupid. Okay, so we have a list of strings to world. Okay, so hold on a second. You said list of string to world, but then you gave a list of string to parser. Let me, let me yeah. okay, so let me, let me do this. Because if we can do an always, then, or, you know, succeed. Okay, so let's just say, okay, forget this. Let me come back here. Let me turn this guy on. And I'm just going to be super dumb, whatever. We're not going to parse. This is not a parser. We have a list of string to world, Bob, Bob. And that just gives us... That actually is going to parse internally. Uh, well, I don't yeah. think it's going to parse at all. Uh, oh, sorry, yes, it is going to parse. You're, you're right. And then extract the bits. Okay, so list of string to world. Yep, yep, yep. And now if I run it, like it's going to fail, and it's fine. Uh, say it's a list of string to world, uh, but it's it's inferring that it's a bit parser because in fact it is a parser. Okay, so let's just say like, okay, list dot map. Uh, let's just say like, uh, sorry. Yeah, line to lines. Um. Oh yeah, we actually don't need this. Sorry, list dot map line. Okay. So that uh, is a parser bitmap because that's what it is. So we want to say list map parse line to bitmap mm -hmm. and then extract. Oh, and then but that returns a, a, an actual parser. So let me say like let and let's just say extract result uh, takes a context and actually it gets result. Don't care. And this will say case results of uh, which you're going to just do result dot uh, with default. Uh, whatever. So yeah. result yeah. dot with default. Um, uh, empty list. Okay, so that'll extract the result and give it to us. So now we want to parse line to bitmap and then just pipe it through extract results. And that will actually give us a list from string to world. Actually, that's going to be a, a composition. Oh, thank you. Um, oh, hold on. We have it written. I'll let you type. <laughs> uh, write argument of and then. So extracting it via parser. Okay, that's fine. That's just because whatever. And then uh, whatever. For now, I'll just say always. Nothing. I succeed. Our later world always goes in empty. What are you talking about? List of line of parser. Um, no, always succeed. Okay, so fine. But what did happen is we parsed a list of strings to world. Okay, so now instead of always succeed that, we'll say, and then always, uh, not always, we want to say, like, uh, we get some lines. We want to succeed with a list of string to world on those lines. And we can actually turn that into a composition. Okay, so now we can say like There we go. Succeed yeah. list of string to world. Mm -hmm. And actually because of that we don't actually I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god. Okay, I feel oh, it's pretty good job. It's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's the the thing of we can't parse. So there is either there is either this exists in this library. Yeah. I, so can we find it? So like, what is it? It takes a context and returns a result. Um. So. Oh, takes a context and returns a yeah, result. Yeah. So like, yeah, let's I just find see. things that have context as the argument. Uh, a primitive 
takes a con uh, so the primitive is a thing that takes a context and returns a result. In a con oh, sorry, context is wrong. Context is not what I meant. It takes this two tuple and returns a result. Um, and I don't know that there is a thing that takes the two tuple and returns results. What does it take? It takes a, a result. Yeah, I don't think that thing yeah. exists. Because because you have to have a default. I mean, it's basically result dot default. Yeah, like you'd expect. Um... Yeah, I mean, I don't expect. I wouldn't. So I'm what's what's thing. interesting about this? Let's mm -hmm. see. Like, uh, well, I guess succeed doesn't consume anything, which is why this works. And so, okay, so there's a thing then that doesn't consume without. I saw without consuming. Uh, succeed. Well, that's all that does anyway. Yeah. Um, parse succeed one. Okay. So then let me look. Hold on. Yeah. See, that's the thing is that you. I don't. I don't know that. I just think that this this uh construct doesn't exist. But maybe I'm just wrong. I don't think that construct exists. Yeah. Okay, well, cool. We can parse an early to world. So here's where it gets fun, though. Like, so do, do you have another 10 minutes? Yes. Okay, so I'm just going to bring in my game of life into this thing. Okay. So I'm just going to just copy gall source star into source because source literally contains nothing of value. And I'm just going to do lmap run. Is that how this works? No, lmap. Oh, no, reactor. And so localhost 8000 should be my game of life for the most part. Um, I run main. Can I find module world? Okay, this is stupid. I literally don't, I'm using create lmap and I don't understand why. Like I just have to actually tell it the source directory is your source, even though that's how it sets it up to begin with. Um, and that only comes up occasionally. So this should just show my normal default game of life. Okay, yeah. so literally all we want to do now is parse something. So let's go to main. And so let's just say like, uh, first of all, oh, we have to extract the stuff from the tests. So here we want to say like import uh, RLE parser exposing everything. And then let's move everything that looks like we want it. Um, these can go into RLE parser because then we'll just, okay, so like all this actually goes to RLE parser. Yeah. Except for pick Josh and uh, that one, we don't care about that. Okay, so that stuff. You take glider early. Uh, yeah, but we don't. I don't think. Okay, so we can rewrite it. And this was we can like rewrite it. We know where to find them. Early parser dot elm, paste it, module, early parser, exposing everything. Um. And so we'll get back this list of bitmap, and we just kind of have to turn it into something. Okay, so let's say, just in our init, we'll go ahead and parse. Okay, so init, uh, I have this world.init. Let me look at what that is. So world has a model, array, array bool. So uh, I did all this like set living at, which is fair. Oh, we could actually just like map over it, but that seems super lame. Um, ultimately, a world model, which is what this is, um, is just an array of array of bool. So, like we would say, like let in, so let's say parsed glider equals early parser dot. Uh, what was it? Um, what was the whole parser called? Like, yeah, what was it called? Parse <laughs> early to world. Okay, so parse early to world <laughs> the glider. Okay, so we'll say like. Parse, so I'll say like parse, early to world, uh, the glider. Um, and actually, I won't even say that. I'll say like Bob, dollar, boo, bang, whatever. You can get a glider later. Yeah. Um, i say results, uh, and then. Okay, so I'll say results, and then like we don't care. Is that we will assume, actually, yeah, that's fine. 
and then we'll say uh, the uh, the the early world equals result that with default. Mm -hmm. uh, the default will be an empty world on the result, and then we want to turn that into a, uh, an array of arrays. So I just want to map the list to an array. Well, we have a, that comes back as an array of arrays or a list of lists. Yeah, that's the deal. We have a list of lists. We want an array of arrays because that's actually the type alias for model. So, like, there's already a way. Oh, I see. I see. Elm list to array. I I literally just don't remember. It's an array. It's like from list. Yeah. So we just want to map twice. So let's say like uh early world. Uh, let's say our world. Whatever equals early world we want like array dot from list um so here here you want to go you want to list dot map list dot map array dot from list and then array dot from list yep Oops. and now if you replace the whole world dot init bit with our world then we should see what Bob Boo looks like. Oh, I see. Like that first, yeah, yeah, that bit. Is going to be our world. Problem. And I believe we should now have <laughs> whatever that is. Uh, oh, we're not running oh. the reactor. Hold on a second. Let's run it here. Um, and this is combine background. Uh, Elm app reactor. Uh, parse, we don't have parse because combine. So over in the test, we have, like, whatever. I'm just going to bring all this stuff in. Yeah. And I also haven't brought in early parser, so that's a thing. Also, I named it the wrong thing. Let's see. Uh, I named it RLE parser. Exposing just whatever it has. I don't care. Yeah. And then that's not a thing I meant to do. And then... Uh, can I find variable parse? Oh, you have to bring all the imports in for the module. I did right here, though? No, 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 for uh, RL, RLE. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. That's it. And it works. And so the problem is it's just kind of not big enough. Um, so how do we just pad out this world? So we have this kind of array, but it's kind of too big. So let's just add a bunch of dead stuff oh, on the I right. See. Down. I see. Okay. Um, so what we want to do is, uh, so what we could do is we could map each one of them into, um, so map and we're going to get the, um, cells and we want to go cells plus a bunch of falses cells plus plus list dot repeat 20 false 20 false and then do the same thing before array dot from list at the end except for cells becomes rows ah what did i just do uh the vim changed where you were because it's awful vim is not awful I, uh... oh there we go there we go vim is not 81 and then you want to do it here right yeah Stop map rows. Stop map. Really? No. Yeah, we just want to add no. some blank rows at the bottom, don't we? Yeah, yeah. So what we want to do is we want to go. Um, it's we don't want to map it. We want to add on. Oh yeah, thank you. Um. Uh, let's stop. Repeat. Actually, this will do it at the top, won't it? And we need to know how many cells there are. <laughs> mm, we do need to know how many cells there are. Um, what we can do is we could take... Um, uh, so you could repeat the last one and then basically blank it, um, like map, yeah, map yeah, it yeah. itself to pulses. Yeah, what would be the best way to do that? I guess array from list. Well, you know what? We know how many there are because we just we built it. There's oh. 20 
three. That's fair. Um, and that's going to actually put it, put those onto the front. So let's flip this. Um, squeaks. Know that you are hungry. Okay, so flip is. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. You know what? Here, let's just do this. This will be the simplest. Yep. Sometimes you don't have to be clever. Ah! Sometimes you do. <laughs> uh, Sometimes you do. Oh, because what it's uh, ray.repeat23 false. Because these are arrays already. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. So actually, our, our clever thing probably was clever enough. Uh, as array.repeat. Okay, so whatever. Um, Let's do a uh, array.from list. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. No, that won't be. Let's stop, Matt. <laughs> um, we expect it to be appendable, but it's an it's an array. Arrays aren't appendable, apparently. Okay, so before we do the list dot map array dot from list. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's do it up there. And then just hold on a second. Let's do this, and we can do the same thing. <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> Expecting the right argument to be a list of list of bool list a. of bools, but the argument is a list of bool. What? Uh, uh we want list dot maps. Uh, no, we don't. No, we don't. We don't. Uh, but um, this isn't gonna work either. Um, yeah, it, is. it, yeah, should. it should actually, because we map it in there. We get a bunch of those. Um. And once we do that, like rows should be a um, a list. Oh, we don't want to add the. Uh... We don't. Oh. Uh, oh God! What happened? Oh, what do I do? I can't. I can't do that. I can't do that. Um, list of why? Why can't I just append that to that list? Oh, because we have a list of lists. Oh, and you're tr so we have a list of lists. You're trying to append. You know what? I bet you um, we need to flip that. No. No. Uh, hold on a second. So, so this is not the right kind of, of list. list. There, there we go. go. <gasps> That's Bob, except for it's not a uh, Bob Boo. That's not Bob Boo. Flip it. Flip the append. Oh, that's Bob Boo. It just okay. So flip the append. Yeah. Don't I have to do this? No. 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 Okay. Boom. Okay. So now, if he were a glider, do we have this. Do we actually have the text of a glider? Oh, I'm so excited. Where's the text of a glider? <laughs> it's over here. This is uh no that's not the glider. Uh that oh that is a glider. Yeah, that's the glider. That's the glider. Uh, is, do we, are we up are we no okay so what's Go up? Grab it. Why is that? Oh cuz he's he needs to be down. We need to put some some rows above him. Basically. Oh uh, yeah 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 yeah. Uh forget the this we'll just make this like 3. No. No no no. There. No. No, so you could still do it. 
Um, here, you, you, you can still you do it, it like this, but what we have to do is we have to go and take the flip out. Oh, yes. And then add three of them. Thank you. Let's add 10 of them. Where'd Bob go? Oh, Bob disappeared. Uh, why? I don't know. Oh, Bob's totally gone. Here, so uh, because of the yeah, because of this crap, hold on. So, so I think we just lost him somewhere in the, in the shuffle. So this, for sure, I could have sworn was. Where'd Bob go? Oh my god, I removed Bob, dude. Oh, ha 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 dang it. Bob Boo. <sighs> and then I've goofed all the other stuff up. Okay, so he's, that's, so then you were like, uh, not flipping. And you were adding yeah. 10. And adding 10, and then putting in. And then yeah, Bob. Okay, now let's put the glider. Uh, look what I did. Yeah, it's not actually the glider. But then, hold on a second. Let's make this two o. Uh, I don't actually understand what's happening here. We'll go get the glider. Go get the glider. The glider's that's not the glider. So the glider. Glider's actually a three by three. Thank you. Oh. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at that. So hold on though, because here's what gets really fun. So let's change this um sorry, let's change this to like sixty. And so then this is like so here's one 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 thing. Um we would like to know this bit here. Uh we would like to know what this number is. Like this three. Because what I want to do is I want to be able to paste anything in here. Yeah, yeah. So the best way to do that would be like, okay, so we have this result. And then I want to say like a uh, case. Let's say uh, num. I said width equals case list.head results of if it's um, nothing, then I'll say the width is 10. I don't care. If it's just anything that I want to say list.length a. So now we have the width. So instead of 23, we can say whatever 20 plus width mm -hmm. and 20. No, those aren't numbers. 20 plus width. And then like this guy can be again 20 plus width. And this 60 crap needs to go away. Uh, And then is that no something bad? Let's not head result. Um, my result is okay. That's the thing. The result is so our oh, early world. world. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and go. then something is awful there. Like, uh, hold on. No. Somewhere I'm adding something stupid here. Uh, let's start repeats. Oh, this is yeah. You don't need a yeah. You don't need a width on. No, no, no. It's you know what? The, yeah, you, you can um, yeah. actually have a freaking clue what's happening here. I'm just making it's stuff this up. one. Oh, that's just the top. Yeah. No, this is the this is um this is to the right. This is to the right. Uh, you have a you have a close parens where you don't want it. Just hit X where your cursor is. Q X. Uh, that that paren to your right you don't want. And then this puts at the puts it at the top. Um, this puts it at the bottom. 
Okay. There we go. So now if we change, let's let's just say like padding. All the twenties, we want to just say like padding. Mm -hmm. So now we have a much bigger world. And now I can come up and I can say, like, let's just grab this, shall we? What do you think? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to say, like, garden. Let me do this. I'll say, like, glider is Garden of Eden, sure. Okay, squeaks almost. Almost time. And let's just look at glider first. Just make sure. I didn't... Still works. Okay, so what is the Garden of Eden? Look at that. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. We need to push stuff to the left of it, too. But. Yeah. Well, I got to feed the. Yeah, yeah. The so this was. Uh, yeah, this is awesome. Awesome. Very, very cool. Yeah. Yeah, that was cool. Now I've got a better sense of the parsers. Yeah. Uh, that that last one. I felt like we were making <laughs> really good headway until that. <laughs> cool. All right. All right. Well, uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot. Great. This was really fun. Yeah, this was fun. All right. I will uh, see you on the Slack. All right. See you. Okay, bye.